This is a true story. When I was living in Kelso in 1974, my next door neighbors were Bob Hite and his son Tony. Bob and his wife had gotten divorced a few years earlier and all their older children, all girls, were grown and out of the house. But Bob and Tony, they were very, very close. Now Bob had a garage in which he kept his motorcycles. Oh, he loved those motorcycles. He used to go riding up and down. They were just, you know, dirt bikes mostly. And, and he would clean them when he was done. You know, they'd be covered in mud and he would sit clean them painstakingly. Sometimes he would take them all apart and clean them and put them back together. It drove his ex-wife crazy. But he was a man of meticulous habits. He would not go to sleep unless his motorcycle was clean. Now one Saturday, Bob and Tony and Bob's brother went to the motorcycle races. And uh, Tony and his uncle were watching and they saw Bob and the rest of the bikes go past and out of sight. Now, when the other bikes came around, Bob's bike wasn't among them. And, and Tony and his uncle, of course, they got worried watching, wondering where he was. So they went looking, and out on one of the trails, they found him. The coroner said it was a heart attack. Well, they, they brought Bob home, and they stuck his motorcycle in the garage. And all of Bob's daughters, they came home for the funeral. And that night, they heard outside in the garage, <clears throat> Oh my gosh, they, the first thing they thought was that somebody was stealing the motorcycle, and they ran out, and the garage was locked. And they thought, well, we must have heard something out on the road. So they went back in the house. And then again they heard it. Now this was late at night. <clears throat> and they looked outside. Now it was unmistakably the sound of a dirt bike. They, they, it's not legal on the street. And they, they looked out anyway and they didn't see any bikes. And they checked and the garage was still locked. But they were scared to open it. So they called their mom. She was in Arizona. Mom! Mom, we're hearing sounds in the garage. Dad's bike, it's starting up. And she, well, she always believed in ghosts. And she said, that's Dad. Tell him to cut it out. He's scaring the kids. And they yelled, Dad, stop it. And they stopped. Well, the next morning, they opened up the garage. And that bike was shining clean. Bob Hike was a man of meticulous habits, and he was not going to go to his eternal rest until his motorcycle was clean.